Hello, I just wanna encourage you here in the month of January. Here's a quote from St. Augustine. Man was made for God and he'll never find rest until he finds it in the one who made him. And so we need to position our hearts to find rest and find it in the one who made us. This is January, the month of remembering first fruits. In Proverbs chapter three, verse nine and 10, the word says, honor the Lord with the substance and with the first fruits of all thy increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst forth with new wine. And so I just wanna encourage you to begin to position your heart, assess your substance. What is substance? Substance is everything that God has already poured on the inside of you. Your substance is the fullness, the satisfaction, the totality of who God is on the inside of you. He has properly positioned you. You are seated with Christ in heavenly places. You have great substance. So it's the substance of the deposit that he has already made through his dunamis power on the inside of you and his Holy Spirit, his exousia power, which is his delegated authority to you. All of these things are substance and we're to honor the Lord with our substance, but our substance is not apart from what he has already provided for us. Substance also means external resources. What external resources has God given you? What wealth and abundancy and possessions do you have? We're to honor God this month with the whole of ourselves and the whole of the resources that he's given us. That is blessing him. Then he says, bless him with increase, which means that every year you're increasing more and more. So you bless him from the substance that you have plus additional increases that he has provided you with this year. And so I just want to tell you right now, God's got great plans for you, but you want to build a strong foundation right here at the beginning of the year. I take this whole month, and so does my church at Freedom Destiny, to pray, fast, and give this month. A threefold cord cannot be broken. I want you to join us in fasting. We're fasting from the 3rd of January, sundown, all the way till the 24th, directly after our church service. So consider fasting, praying, and giving with us this time of year. No matter where you go to church, you want to enter into that place of focusing on God, positioning yourself. Fasting just simply means you're going to miss a meal or two or three. You're going to maybe only have liquids. You're going to evaluate what you're putting into your mouth so that your flesh can come under control of the Holy Spirit. You're going to position yourself by eating the Word of God. You're going to position yourself so that you recognize the wealth, the substance that God has already given you. Your, your spiritual eyes are going to be opened, your ears, your smell, your taste, your touch. You're going to enter a new place of heavenly blessings, knowing the essential that you've died, buried, resurrected, and ascended with him. Don't you want to receive greater revelation from heaven about who you are in Christ and what he's positioned you to do in 2021? This is a month of praying, fasting, giving, to consecrate, to set yourself apart, to evaluate who you are, and, and all God has given you and where he's taking you. I'm believing great things for you in the spirit realms and that they're going to come as a result of you participating in this month of first fruits. I just wanna encourage you, I've done this for at least 16 years and I have seen tremendous growth in my ministry and both my husband's and my ministry, even at Freedom Destiny Church as a result of practicing first fruits. And so I just wanna encourage you to join with us this month in order to be able to have our our whole spirit, soul, and body filled with God, strengthened, that our bones would be healthy, that we would be a light unto the darkness, and that we would be able to share all that God has given us. Now, I want you to think about first fruits. And first fruits means a chief principle thing. It means a first thing, a whole thing. It means the beginning. And from the beginning, we then begin to build. So take this month to start your year off right and begin to build from here. God's bringing creative ideas from heaven. He's been doing this for weeks now. 
He wants to build you up strong so he can and get you on a strong foundation so he can put heavier things on top of you, greater advancement and expansion of your mantle. How is that going to happen unless you consecrate your vessel, unless you come into that place of fully honoring God with your substance and the first fruit of all of your increase? Then it says you'll enter overflow. Barns are filled. New wine bursts forth. So I just want to encourage you today. You need to be living in the overflow. Stop being overtaken by the tsunamis in your life and instead get on the top of the wave and start surfing. And so you can begin to enter that place if you take this month to consecrate yourself. I have done this for years and I have seen huge, huge benefits. Pray, fast, and give. God has great plans for you. I want you to comment below, hashtag first fruits, hashtag first fruits, and watch God do amazing things for you this year. Share this with your friends. I want to hear all the great things that God is doing for you.